do a quick little update video for the uh, Blender Hard Surface Quad Remeshing the Best Way Possible video. Sure enough, I finished that video and I just started this block out on this thing. I spent about 45 minutes on it or so, and uh, someone left a comment saying, check out this add-on from Kushiro. And sure enough, I'm, I've seen Kushiro's Gumroad before. Uh, however, if you don't know who he is, it's the uh, guy that made the grid modeler add-on and some others that are in here. Some of these things are really cool. Now, he's made another one called the Curve Face Color add-on. And so what this thing is, is when you install it, uh, you can, I'm going to go solid view real quick. Say I take this piece here and I duplicate it and I right click it and convert it to a mesh. We'll send it out this way real quick. So you can take a mesh like this and you can go into edit mode and you just basically uh, right click. You can set a uh, curved face color. And what this is going to do is it's going to basically assign a bunch of color materials onto it. Um, for all the different angles, and it breaks them up by sharps and things like that as well. So this is a perfect add-on that goes in combination with Quad Remesher. I was actually thinking about something like this, wondering if anybody's made something like this. And sure enough, here you go. And if you want to refine this thing just a little bit, you got a ton of materials now to work with. So you don't even got to create these things anymore, basically. Uh, you start breaking things up in that manner. Super cool little add-on. So if we go ahead and take this and we go to Quad Remesher, uh, I'm just going to check it on the way I had it for the video. Probably maybe need a little bit more on this one. I'm not thinking much, though. So let's just add a little bit more to the quad count density. Check all that on. And just click remesh. And this is a really dirty blackout, by the way. So there's nothing proper happening here. And it's remeshed. So this is absolutely a uh, phenomenal add-on to put in combination with quad remesher. And you'll definitely want to pick this thing up. So just uh, check out the um, Kashiro on Gumroad. I'll put a link on my website as soon as I'm done with this video. But uh, but basically, it works for the most part by the looks of it. But I tried it on a, um, a different part of this earlier, and it, it does a pretty decent job. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but you can definitely go in and fix this thing probably a lot quicker than fiddling around with creating materials and assigning them as you're working. I would have a I would have to take a guess that that's possible. Very cool. All right, so that's all I wanted to do for this update video was just kind of show you this thing real quick. You can see how that's been working out here. And sure enough, it is uh, pretty fantastic overall. So if we go ahead and put a single here, the properties, I already got the subdivision on it. Not too bad. So here's a fun tip real quick before we leave the video. When you've quad remeshed something, it keeps the sharps usually. Um, in this case, did it keep the materials assigned? Probably. I can't. I just can't see them, right? Yeah, it did have them. Okay. So we should be able to just remesh this. And if we have little mistakes in there, we can also symmetrize across Y. Uh, it should clean some of this stuff up by doing a secondary quad remesh. Hey, see? So that's pretty cool how it works sometimes. And I think you guys will get a kick out of uh, using quadri mesher in this, this manner anyway. So definitely want to check out the add-on. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one, right? Take care.